Okay, so this is the stores endoscopy tower. Um, I'm going to kind of take you through what each of these boxes is, and then after that we'll uh, go over turning the system on uh, and setting up for cases. So to start here, obviously you have your beautiful full HD monitor up top here. You can swing around. Um, the first box you see here is we call a Telecam C3, which is basically the video unit. So this is where you're gonna plug in your camera head um, for the system. Um, there's not a lot to it. Um, it's just the port for the camera head and then there'll be a little USB that you'll be plugging in to save pictures and videos on. But other than that, that's all you really need to know for that. Um, below that, we have our, what we call our CO2 MBI LED, basically just a light source for short. Um, the only attachment that you're gonna need for this will be an adapter that will plug in here. Um, and then once, you'll see once we turn the unit on that it's a touch screen, they're able to adjust the light intensity uh, and turn off the light and turn it on um, via touch screen. So this is the light source. And then the bottom unit here is called the Vet Pump 2, which is a suction and irrigation unit. So you see the, the distilled water over here, there's a suction bottle behind it. Um, this is used uh, mainly with derm and um, suction and you know, flushing and um, cleaning the ears um, for the most part, but it can be used in lap and other units as well. But um, you'll see here there's a few parts to it. There's a handle um, and then a, a bunch of tubes. So um, I don't know if you want to get into the detail with that right now. <laughs> no, sorry. But so this is so this is the vet pump suction and irrigation system. So those are the boxes to the storage tower, um, and then we can kind of go through so you have a better idea of what they do. Um, go through turning it on here and then setting it up like we were going to do a procedure. So. Um, the cart itself here is a smart cart. So what that means is all of the separate units are plugged in to the back of the cart here. And so all you need to do to turn the entire system on is just plug in the uh, power black power cord on the side of the, the tower here. And then in the back of the tower, there is a red button here, you'll see. And that's, you turn that on and that's going to turn on all of the boxes that you see. Um, so you see the monitor coming on, you see the green light which indicates that the camera box is on, you see the light source which is turning on here with the, with the screen um, coming on and then you, you can hear and see that the vet pump 2 is on. So to turn off system, turn off the system you do the exact same thing. You don't need to worry about turning off these boxes individually. You just go to that red box and back and turn it off and you're good to go. So when turning on the system, uh, typically it'll take a minute or so for the monitor and the image processor here to load. Um, so, that, so that's the image you're gonna see uh, when you turn it on um, before you plug in any of the other components. So there's a few components to the system beyond the boxes. Uh, the first would be the camera head. So it's an HD camera head. There's a little uh, protector for the scope here, just so you, for the lens here, so it doesn't scratch the lens or damage the lens. So you wanna make sure you take that out before you put the scope in and it's just twisting the coupler here and it will release and allow you to do that. Same, same that's how you will also put the um, endoscope in as well. Um, so this goes into the top box here. Just push it straight in here, click, and you'll see that the obviously there's no scope in right now, but it's it's showing that image of the lens right there. So that's the camera head. So that's one of two things that need to be plugged into the camera box. The second is the USB drive, which um, the importance of the USB drive is it allows you to take pictures and videos during procedures. So in order to take those pictures and videos, you need to have this um, plugged in. Otherwise, it will not let you, the system will not let um, the user take pictures and videos. So the top box, that's all that's necessary. 
Um, if you go down to the second box here, the light source, um, we're missing one piece, the adapter. Um, it's a little black, um, little, a little round black piece that plugs right into the light source here. Um, so pretend that that's here. And then the second piece that you need to do is just plug in this uh, light cable. So that will plug right into the black adapter. And then the other end of the light source will connect right to the post on the side of the um, um, scope that, you, that you're using, whether it be otoscope, lap scope, whatever scope you're using. So they're all the same. So there'll be a little T on the uh, side of the scope. You just, you just twist it in. Um, so that's the only attachments you need for the system. Now, um, the top box here is plug and play, so you don't need to worry about anything. It's good to go now. Um, the bottom box, only thing that's really important to know is it's, like I said before, it's touchscreen. So you'll see a light insufflation, and then you'll see some you know, percentages on stuff. So to turn the light on, you know, all you have to do is just click that. You'll see it light up. That's, that's telling you that the light source is turned on. And then you can adjust the intensity of the light. Um, typically, I think default is 50%. Anywhere from 50 to 80% usually is, is good. Um, insufflation uh, is the same if you were to use insufflation. Um, you would just press that. You have to turn my off, sorry. Turn my off, insufflation, but you can't do it because there's no uh, gas cylinder hooked up. So another video, another video, but, <laughs> but you saw me there. So you just to turn off, same as turning it on. Um, white balance, white balance. So white balance, there's a couple ways to do it. Um, one, you'll see this, this, um, little symbol here icon on the camera box. So you would just hold the scope up to a, we had a scope here, hold the scope up to something white, typically like a cotton, cotton swab or something works, whatever. Um, and you click that and it would, okay, it was performed successfully anyway. Um, and it'll tell you that it was performed successfully. If for some reason uh, you try to do it and there's, it, it, it doesn't like it, it's not white enough or whatever, it'll tell you instead of saying successful, it'll say to retry. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, we also have white balance on the left side of the me left menu here. Um, so we didn't mention the keyboard on the second shelf. Um, so this can be um, another way to use the system um, beyond um, the camera head during procedures. Um, so you have the mouse here. It allows you to take pictures, videos, and you'll see white balance here. So you could also white balance this way by clicking this. Um, zoom, which allows you to zoom in and it's tough to tell because you don't have an actual Camera. scope attached right now but um, so that's how you would zoom the image um, orientation so this allows you to flip the image so you can flip 180 degrees 90 degrees um, typically not necessary but a fun tool to have I guess uh, then brightness so this allows you to increase the brightness of the image um, so you can go all the way negative two. So uh, you know, darken it. Zero is neutral, and then all the way up to two is this. So there's four different levels you can choose from. Um, to start procedures, you see in the top left corner here, uh, there's a little patient icon, and then once you click that, a little drop-down menu. You'll see a couple things. You'll see new patient. So this is to add new patient here on the left. If you already have the patient information plugged in, you'll see in the patient list here, it'll be on the drop down of the patient list and you would just click on this, on uh, whatever patient you want and it would start the procedure with that, with that patient. If you wanna just go from scratch with a new patient, you click new patient, you, you get this drop down menu. Um, first name, last name, date of birth, gender. Um, the only thing you need you're required to input is the last name. You'll see a little asterisk next to the last name. That means that, that to, to move forward with the procedure, um, you need to input that. So you just input. Whatever last name you want or whatever you want to call the patient. Um, and then you would select patient for next procedure. So once you do that, 
you'll see it pop up on the left, top left there, um, the patient, and you're good to go. I think that's probably it.